Breaking travel news in Madrid for a series of interesting interviews. We're talking now with Sun International CEO, Graeme Wood. So, what are you doing here in Madrid? Ah, we're a new member of the Global Hotel Alliance. So, it's our first CEO meeting. It's great to be here. And what's it mean to be part of uh, Global Hotel Alliance? Well, I think Sun International is an established hotel operator. We've been around for 45 years. Mm. We operate hotels across all you know, economy through to full service and luxury. But what's important for us to be part of GHA is to increase our reach in our source markets. And when we looked at uh, GHA, the source markets and where GHA plays with the, the other brands that are in the alliance kind of provides an opportunity for us to position our products with them. So how important is the announcement which is made today of uh, NH Hotel, Spain's largest hotel operator, joining GHA and access to their markets? Well, I was jotting down the 10.1 million additional loyalty members, you know, European big source market uh, into South Africa, particularly to Cape Town. And, you know, we've got, we're the only hotel in Cape Town that's positioned for all our GHA loyalty members. So the addition of 10 million from NH hotels uh, just creates a bigger database for us to participate in. Yeah, those numbers sound very exciting for a hotel operator, I guess. Um, just refresh us on your key properties within the group. Yeah, so I think from a GHA relevance point of view, uh, playing more at the luxury end, we have the Palace of the Lost City at Sun City, which celebrates its 30th uh, uh, anniversary this year. Wow, I think I went there about 20 yeah, years ago. It's amazing, amazing how time yeah. flies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're doing an exciting new refurbishment of that hotel. We're adding a, a spa and a gym, etc., to make the product also relevant to the modern day traveler. And um, so that's very exciting. And then we've got the Table Bay Hotel down in Cape Town. It's a 329 key on the V&A waterfront. Spectacular property. We position it as the best address in Cape Town, and it really is. It's yeah. on one of the bookends of the waterfront. Um, and we're going through a new uh, phase of reviewing the future of that property with our, our landlord, uh, v &A Waterfront. And we're going to refurbish the hotel and reposition it, etc., for the next, hopefully, 20, 25 years. Uh, the time I went to Sun City, I went down to Cape Town, and that was an amazing development on the waterfront. And v &A, is it Victorian Alfred? Yeah, that's that right? it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Victorian that's Alfred, yeah. Alfred, okay, okay. So um, how are things looking for the group? post-pandemic? Uh, what's very interesting coming here is listening to what the other brand owners are saying and we're, we're following the exact same trends. Domestic leisure recovery being quite strong, we'll beat 2019 numbers. Uh, the casino side of our business is probably about 90% back of 2019. Um, con what we're seeing, contrary to what other people are saying here, is that we're seeing big conferences coming back. Are, yeah. So we've, we've had some big 800 packs conferences at Sun City already. So we'll, I think we'll beat conferencing in 20, uh, 2019 numbers. Um, corporate travel very slow. Right. But majority of our properties are leisure based, so I think we're, we're uh, so we're on par with what everybody is saying. And going by what we've heard today at the the panel discussion, and keynote speech, that is the side which is bouncing back quickest, isn't it? Leisure side, business slower. But from what you said regarding your conference and meetings, that's that's huge. Number. Yeah, it's very encouraging for us. More so, um, some of our colleagues uh, were saying that watch conferences will come back quicker, and, and I was being a little bit more pessimistic. I said, and when we did our budgets, I uh, kind of padded those down a bit because I, I just I just didn't feel it and it's maybe it's a pent-up demand issue that maybe. Mm. Uh, and maybe it'll it'll slow off again but in our market we need economic growth uh, that's important for us to keep that sustainable growth going. so it sounds like you'll be leaving Madrid on a very positive note keep us updated on what you're doing your future developments here at uh, Breaking Travel News will do thank you very much